Our next partner has a product I use every day. I've been trying to be healthier, and so for the last year I've been taking those vitamin gummies, which are great because I hate swallowing pills, but bad because they're literally covered in sugar. So when I found Athletic Greens, I was hooked. With one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, and probiotics. This blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your immune system, your energy recovery, focus, and aging. In my case, I put a scoop in the shaker they sent, throw some juice into it, and take it into the office with me. And it actually tastes good. Best of all, it's cheaper than getting all the different supplements yourself. And for every purchase, they donate to organizations helping to get nutritious food to kids in need, including No Kid Hungry. To get started, Athletic Greens will give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Visit athleticgreens.com slash today. athleticgreens.com slash today. Take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Today, that designer you hired on a gig marketplace is not who you think they are. We have the top in-demand marketing skills this year from LinkedIn. What is memory marketing and how can you exploit it? Instagram adds some brand safety tools. And on the Premium Podcast, with no ads, more stories, and extended weekend episodes, tap the link in the show notes for more. The rise of the bad news bots and why your staff shouldn't give customers bad news at all. It's Wednesday, February 9th. I'm Todd Maffin. Here is what you missed today in digital marketing. In case you've ever bought design services off a labor marketplace like Fiverr, did the person you hire do the work? Or did you fall victim to a new trend of drop servicing? An interesting piece today in The Verge discusses this trend. They position it as something of a get-rich scheme that is gaining popularity on social media platforms. The term drop servicing comes from the more commonly known side hustle drop shipping. That's when a retailer sells products online without keeping any inventory on hand. Instead, they order directly from manufacturers who then ship the products directly to the buyer. Drop servicing is basically the same concept, only instead of products, the middleman simply resells services like copy editing, graphic design, social media content, and more. The middleman turns a profit and pockets the markup in both cases. You can see the problem here. Freelance gig workers don't always know who they're working for or how much their work is actually worth. And agency or brand buyers probably aren't dealing with the actual person doing the work. If you've browsed a labor marketplace like Fiverr, you can understand how drop servicers can turn a profit. Gigs are priced incredibly low. You can find custom logo designs there for as low as 2 bucks, or video editing projects for under 250 bucks, which often double when passed on using this scheme. These gigs are low-priced because freelancers are often based in India, Pakistan, the Philippines, or Croatia, where they are fighting for work. According to Expedia, 74% of Americans favor experiences over products. An article today at adweek.com asks, how do you give consumers experiences when you are trying to sell them a product or service? One option, photographs. Capture the experiences they have. When people take photos, they enjoy events and places more, and you can gain customer loyalty by posting an image on their behalf. This helps customers remember the moments they had with your brand and product. Whether you want to increase customer loyalty or increase brand advocacy, this so-called memory marketing allows you to connect with your customers through experiences. So this piece up on Adweek recommends that you take more photos, get pictures of your customers while they are using your product or service, and thank them by email or through social media with details about their purchase or a photo you took a year after their visit. I'm obviously not doing the Adweek piece justice, so it's worth a read. If this space interests you, look for the article called Memory Marketing Makes the Most of Customer Experiences. LinkedIn has compiled a list of the most valuable digital marketing skills you should have on your LinkedIn profile this year. The fastest growing occupations include media coordinator, search manager, and still up there, social media coordinator, as for the most in-demand occupations, Digital Marketing Specialist takes the number one spot, followed by Digital Account Executive and Social Media Manager. What can you do to ensure your skills match those that the companies are seeking? LinkedIn says because Digital Marketing Specialist is such a broad term, recruiters are having a hard time finding marketers 
with skills like digital strategy or link building or off-page SEO. So it is crucial that you highlight your skills in specific areas in your profile in order to increase your prospects and meet market demand. The skills in demand for the top marketing jobs, social media marketing, paid search strategy, and search engine marketing. Still pretty vague terms, but according to the platform, those are the current skills employers are looking for. To achieve these new skills, the professional network recommends that users take advantage of their LinkedIn learning courses. And I've mentioned this tip before. You can probably get access to LinkedIn's learning library for free by logging into your public library's website, going to the digital library or whatever they call it, and look for lynda.com. It's basically the same catalog, but your library has paid the access fees. You're successful in business because you love doing the research, whether it's the state of the market or the next right hire. But when you're low on hours and you still want to do a great job on hiring, who do you go to for help? It's time for Indeed. Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. And Indeed is the only job site where you're guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements or else you don't pay. With Instant Match, as soon as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of quality candidates with resumes on Indeed that match your job description, and you can invite them to apply right away. Start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash digital. Offer valid through March 31st. Go to Indeed.com slash digital to claim your $75 credit before March 31st. Indeed.com slash digital. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. What do you spend on subscriptions each month? Most of us think we spend around 80 bucks a month on subscriptions, but we actually spend closer to $200 a month. What if there were an easier way to manage those? There is. Truebill is the app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people are saving thousands a year with Truebill. See all your subscriptions in one place. Keep the ones you want, cancel the ones you don't, right from the app. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions, so you don't have to. No talking to humans, no difficult conversations. Truebill has more than 2 million users and helps save them $100 million. Start canceling your unused subscriptions at Truebill.com slash digital. Go right now. Truebill.com slash digital. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash digital. Instagram announced some updated features yesterday on behalf of Safer Internet Day. First, the updated Your Activity Dashboard is being rolled out to all users. There's a new bulk delete option that'll make managing and removing posts a lot easier. It also now provides a complete overview of your activity, including time spent on the app, interactions, searches, and content uploaded. The app also lets you archive content you don't want to appear on your profile, similar to TikTok. Second, the updated security checkup feature will also be rolled out. This feature guides you through the steps needed to secure your account, checking login activity, recovery information, and so on. Some users will have the option to enable two-factor authentication using WhatsApp. And finally, the platform is testing a new way to help users regain access to their locked accounts. Through a new process, people will be able to ask their friends to verify their identity in the app. You may be receiving even more messages in your Google Search Console message panel. The company announced that it has finished the migration of all the messages into the new Search Console interface. Now, all messages should be accessible in that panel, even the ones that were lost during the previous migrations. Even though you may feel overwhelmed by all the messages, it should be easier for you to see the Google Search Console messages all in one place. And finally, with news about this whole great resignation thing apparently going on, what did people want to do after they quit their jobs? Well, we have some data now from Google's search trends. Here are the most searched for jobs from January of 2021 to January of 2022. They are how to become a real estate agent, flight attendant, notary, therapist, pilot, firefighter, personal trainer, psychiatrist, physical therapist, and number 10, electrician. A 
special hello there to Edgar, CJ, Bertie, Jow, I'm mispronouncing that, Joe and Virginia. Those people have all upgraded to the premium feed in the last few days. As a result, they are hearing more stories than you. They're getting no ads and they are getting exclusive extended weekend editions. Tap the link in the show notes or go to todayindigital.com slash premium feed if you'd like to find out more about that. Also, don't forget, if you've got a marketing position you're trying to fill or maybe you're looking for that next great gig, consider a classified ad right here. It's just 20 bucks and you can book it online. Tap the advertising link in the show notes. All right, talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.